what is going on guys good morning welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new youtube video if you don't know by now my name is justin i'm the owner of hygie cold press and today i got another vlog for you guys uh, we've done a couple of vlogs on this channel in the past we've done some busy days we've done some deliveries but we haven't done a day where it's just kind of a low-key chill day it's monday it's my favorite day of the week and uh, i really don't have that much planned today so i wanted to bring you guys on a day in the life what it's like when I'm trying to figure things out day to day. Being an entrepreneur, you don't have someone to give you your assignments day to day. You don't have a boss that tells you what to do. You don't have a teacher that gives you homework assignments. You create your assignments every single day. So not only do you find the work to do, you create the work to do, you do the work, and then you also have to grade yourself on the work at the very end, which is also very, very difficult because you have to be honest with yourself, but you also have to be like, subjective and you have to give yourself you know feedback like a teacher or a boss would so that's also very very difficult so we haven't really done that too much on this channel i've always planned ahead i've always like kind of taken you guys on like some type of adventure but today i'm going to bring the camera along with me and we're going to figure it out today we're going to drum up our own work we're going to figure out what it is that we're going to create and uh that's exactly what we're going to do like i said it's monday Monday is my favorite day of the week, my absolute favorite day of the week. I just have this mindset that it's like it's a fresh start. So for that reason, I want to bring you guys along today and see what it is that I can figure out. The only for sure thing that I have set and planned today is I have a personal training client at 9 a.m. It is 6.45 right now. Um, so I'm about to finish my coffee, get in the shower, get myself cleaned up, dressed, ready for the day. Then we can start off with breakfast and then kind of mosey our way through our day. Like I said, we got our meeting at nine o'clock with our personal training client. And then after that, to be honest, guys, I don't really have anything planned, so we're gonna figure it out. We might make some sea moss gummies today. We might start tampering around with some new products. Uh, I did get some samples of CBD in. We might start tampering around with that a little bit. We might go to the shop and do some yoga. This is just things that I'm thinking out loud. I haven't really decided on what I'm gonna do yet, but we're gonna figure it out. I hope you guys sit back, take your feet up, enjoy the vlog, and uh, enjoy this little adventure with me. Take a load off, relax, fire up a joint if that's your thing, pour up a drink if that's your thing, grab a bag of potato chips if that's your thing. Whatever the case is, I just want you guys to sit back and enjoy this video with me and uh, see where this day takes us. So, let's go. All right, what is going on, guys? It is now 1021. I've made it to the shop now. I have finished up with some personal training. I just ate my breakfast here at the shop because I do keep some goods here. Just had quick cream of rice and whey. Bang that out real quick. And uh, now I'm looking to get my day started. I'm not, like I mentioned earlier, I don't really have a game plan for today. I just knew that I wanted to shoot a YouTube video and I wanted to bring you guys along. I'm about to take some caffeine. My weapon of choice today is going to be Jet Alert. I'm 99% sure this came from Dollar General. Uh, but it works great. I'm a huge fan of caffeine. If you know me, you know this is my drug of choice. And I say drug because it definitely is one. I enjoy taking a little bit of caffeine, a lot of bit of caffeine sometimes, and uh, get my mind working in overdrive. I really enjoy that, it helps me think. Uh, I like when my mind is racing really fast sometimes mostly when it pertains to business or ideas. I like uh, the fast thoughts. I like the heart racing. All of that just, uh, I don't know, it kind of like gets my spark going. I really enjoy that part where some people make some uncomfortable. But uh, since I just took that caffeine pill, my first thought, I'm looking over at the blank. I think I'm gonna bang out some yoga. And when I say yoga, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just roll out a mat and I get moving. Uh, I know like two yoga poses and one is like downward dog no the one is like touch your toes so when i say i'm doing yoga i mean i'm doing like justin's meathead version of yoga i'm just getting there and moving doing some stretching i'm doing some movement i'm doing some deep breathing but none of it has like a rhyme or reason I'm not an expert by any means i just i get in there and do what i feel is right for me but i am looking for a little bit of help uh in the yoga department so if that's you Holler at me. Anyways, that's going to be my game plan for now. I'm going to let this caffeine kick in a little bit. I'm going to sweep up, get the tunes kind of going, get my vibe right before I just lay out the mat and get started. That's what I'm feeling right now. So let's get cleaning.
right, guys, that's gonna wrap that up. That was my quick little yoga session that you saw. Like I said, it, I would hardly call it yoga. I just do it on a yoga mat, but it's just a little bit of movement. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just doing what feels right and what feels best to me. And uh, I'm also just trying to gain some mobility, to be honest with you. I really don't have that much. I've neglected it being a meathead bodybuilder. And uh, as I get a little bit older and I get further into this holistic lifestyle, I realize that I want to have a lot more movement. I want to have a lot more uh, mobility within my hips, my lower back, all of those things. That's all really, really important to me. So that's why you see me doing this. But like I mentioned before, if anyone has some yoga tips, is a yoga teacher, or can just give me any type of insight, I would greatly appreciate it. Because as you saw, I definitely don't know what I'm doing. I'm just getting in there and doing what I do best, which is grip it and rip it. That's gonna be that for now. I really didn't come up with too much of a game plan still. I did get one or two orders uh, sent to my phone as I was sitting there doing the yoga. So I'm gonna take a look at those, see if that's something that we're gonna do today or if I'm gonna put it off till later in the week. Most of our products are made to order, meaning we don't have anything ever on deck here at the shop. So that means that everything always has to get made. When orders come in, Sometimes I let a few of them accumulate before we start getting busted in the kitchen. Reason being is I'm trying to keep all of our resources and our time uh, as efficient as possible. I don't always just want to get in there for one or two jars of butters. I'll wait until later in the week when I get a few more orders. I'm at the point now where we don't have orders daily, but we do have them usually every other day. So for the most part, if an order comes in on Monday and it's just a very small order, we'll usually wait until Wednesday or Thursday to process that just because amongst those few couple of days, a few more orders will come in. So that's kind of the rundown of how we do things here at the shop. I'm kind of just walking around here randomly. Uh, no really rhyme or reason, I'm just kind of walking around. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up my yoga mat, I'm gonna clean up some of my stuff, and uh, we'll just kind of see what the day brings. I'm gonna check my phone, read some emails, see what we're looking at at CMOS. Like I said, I placed a big order earlier today, uh, 150 pounds. So I have to see the logistics on that, see when it's gonna come, what kind of customs issues that I have to deal with, if any, hopefully none, fingers crossed, and then we'll kind of go from there. So I'm gonna log on to my phone, log on to the computer, and see what we got going on here. Y'all, so I had one order that I had to finish up and uh, get packed up. This is going out to Arizona, so I have to take it home. Uh, reason being is my Rolo printer is at home for right now, and uh, I have to print a shipping label. So I'll get a shipping label, and the post office is a little bit better in Round Lake as opposed to the one here anyways. So I prefer to ship from there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab this box, grab the rest of my belongings. We're gonna head home, print that label, and then we're gonna head to the post office to get this sent out to Arizona. So shout out to my homies in Arizona. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the orders, always keeping us rocking. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do the best that we can to make our way across the rest of the United States. Oh, hey there. I'm back. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really have going on for today as of right now. We got all of that taken care of, package is on its way. There was a big long line and I usually don't like to wait. So I just put it off to the side and let them take care of it on their own time. So, it's a beautiful day outside today. I'm about to head home and uh, for the last couple of months, we've been working on our labels and I've been like refining them, send it over, refining it, sending it over. And uh, we're in the final stages of our labels for our nut butters. So I'm about to go home and finish up, take one final look over at them and then get them sent over for a final sizing. Make sure that we got it exactly how we want it and then we're gonna send the okay. We have multiple flavors of nut butters and each uh, flavor is gonna have a different label, obviously. So I just wanna make sure that each flavor and each label is exactly the way that I want it to. That way we can get a couple thousand printed at a time and then I won't have to worry about labels for a very, very long time. That's kind of my game plan. That's why it's taken me so long. I've designed these myself, so I was also a little bit worried about if this was right, if that was right. I wanted it to be perfect, but then I realized it's never gonna be perfect, so I had to hurry up get this process uh, going because if it was up to me, I would sit there changing things every single day for the rest of time. And uh, that's why we haven't had labels for the last year. I'm gonna head home, finish that up. I'll show you guys a little bit of a preview before we send it out. And then it's gonna be gym time. I also haven't eaten lunch yet. It's already two o'clock. I had meal one really, really early. And if you remember, I bullshitted my way through it. I then had a second-ish meal uh, at the shop around like 
10 30 maybe 11 and uh now it's two o'clock so i need to have like some type of lunch so let's also go get that taken care of before we jump into the computer because once i start there ain't no stopping so let's go eat all right guys slight little delay on the video I had some things to take care of, but we're back in the office, and like I said, I'm doing one final walkthrough of the labels. This is just how they look on Windows Photo Viewer. Uh, believe it or not, I actually designed them on Canva, and uh, it works really well. It's an easy way for me to design the labels and change them quite a bit before I send them over to the label maker, and uh, it just makes it a little bit cheaper on our end. So, like I said, I highly recommend Canva. Uh, the $9.99 a month is very much worth it. I use it to make my YouTube thumbnails, uh, some of the labels, some of the juice labels, and a few of the other things as well. So, that's what the labels are looking like. Mind you, I have a different label for each flavor, so I have to take a look at each flavor and give it a final walkthrough, make sure the calories are absolutely perfect, and make sure each ingredient is listed. I had to make sure that there was like a little section that we could write in best by date. Um, I had to make sure that our address was on there. Just little details that I was forgetting about. Like I said in the earlier clip, I could keep changing these time and time again, but I just want to make sure that I get it finalized and I get it sent over this week because I want to get these in the process of being made. I know for an absolute fact, once labels come in, it'll take us to the next level. So the fact that I've been snoozing on this kind of bothers me. Alright y'all, so it is 5.40, uh, time kind of got away from me, I got caught up in these labels, started doing some things, changing some things, I decided to send off the new juice labels to be made, which uh, we're working on the nut butter labels as well, but I wanted to get the juice labels sent off first, so I decided to get those sent out, let me go ahead and pull those up and show you what we are working with. Let me pull up a couple different ones actually. Let's give you guys a quick sneak peek of what we got going on here. Okay. So if you take a look, that is a little sneak peek of what our juice label will look like. Let me pull up another one here. There's Emerald, which is a fan favorite from everyone. There is actually a front and a back to them. <laughs> all right hectic 15 minutes but i got everything finished i'm ready to go my bags are packed i got my intro my pre-workout i got an extra shirt my training shoes my headphones i took my sea moss i took my aspirin i drank a liter of water what else am i forgetting anyways i feel like i got it all taken care of it's 5:56, which is plenty of time i'm gonna sit down relax and wait because you know that we leave at 6:15 on the dot every single training day so I'm ahead of schedule, not even ahead of schedule, I'm right on time because uh, I always like to take a few minutes before the gym to sit down and relax. So let's go do that. All right, it is 6.16 and Tony is about to walk up in one second. So as soon as he's walking up, we are on our way out. Yeah, as soon as he gets in the car, we're gonna head out. We got a big back day today. We've uh, changed our workout split a little bit where I'm currently doing deadlifts first, so. And there's Tony. Oh, what the f Let's go to the gym. Okay. Oh, let me adjust that. We're at the gym now. It is 6.35. Um, like I said, we have a pull day. We start with deadlifts now, which I personally like. Uh, I'm trying to get really strong at those. I like la this time last year. I was really, really strong at those. I was like pulling 495 or 20. So I was like really, really strong. Now, 
Eh, not so much. <laughs> so I'm trying to work my way back up to those. Gym looks a little crowded today. We're gonna go inside, take a look, and assess the situation. Maybe you'll get a gym vlog, maybe you won't. We'll find out. All right, y'all. It's 8.23, and as you can tell, there's no gym vlog. The gym was crowded as shit. And for me, I'm either gonna focus on my training session or I'm gonna focus on YouTube. And right now, I need to focus on my training sessions. I can't pretend to be some fucking YouTuber when I have fucking workouts to do with shit. So, overall, workout was good. A little crowded. A lot of crowded. Uh, our gym has a lot of young people in there. So based off that, you can assume they're dancing around, jumping around, doing the whole fucking nine every single time that they're in here. For us, that means we have to be really, really in our zone, focus on our lifts, and uh, stay out of the way. It's best to just stay out of their way. That's something that I've learned. Uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna beat these kids. You're not gonna beat all the young kids. They're, they're gonna be here in the gym. They have a presence in the gym. You're not gonna beat them. So it's best to just work around them. Figure out a schedule that maybe you're training well when they're not there as often but if that doesn't work for you like us like we have to train at this time uh we're just gonna work around them and that's it i'm gonna make friends with the ones that are somewhat decent they're gonna respect my space i'm gonna respect their space but that's pretty much it like i said good workout it's 8 30 now the sun's just setting we got a fire ass sunset check this out that's awesome We're gonna finish up here, wrap up and head home and get ready for tomorrow. And that was exactly it. That was a full entire day in my life. Once the gym kind of hits, it's pretty much over after that. Really, I don't do too much after the gym unless it's like finish up any last minute orders or uh, you know, just eat a couple meals, shower, things like that. But really, once gym time hits, my day is pretty much over. So like I said, that's gonna be it. That is actually going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. If you haven't yet, please make sure you like the video. If you can, even drop a comment. Share it with your friends. It helps me an absolute ton. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job because I know I'm doing a good job. I'm doing a damn good job if you ask me. So please show me the love. Like, subscribe, comment. Ring the uh, notification bell. That helps a lot as well. Just do your part. It helps me a lot. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. So... Again, thank you guys so, so much. That's going to conclude today's video. That's all I got for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.